Brett Lammer, Heritage Sites Coordinator with the Arts and Heritage Foundation of St. Albert. Today along the Sturgeon River, you can scope out local wildlife, canoe, and even paddleboard for a fun outdoor activity. For over 5,000 years, the river has provided a home for plants, animals, and people too. Some of the animals are geese, ducks, muskrat, and moose, even plains bison buffalo. The river has changed over the last 5,000 years. Before St. Albert was a town, the river was used by Cree, Métis, and other indigenous groups for water and transportation. Sometimes, though, the river was not the best choice for transportation. The Sturgeon River has lots of bends in it, and often a more direct route could be found on land. When traveling by land over a hundred years ago, a Red River cart was a great option. Red River carts are made entirely from wood with no metal nails used. This made them easy to repair if you were traveling thousands of kilometers. Red River carts could hold up to 550 kilograms of materials. In the winter, snowshoes or dog sleds were an ideal way to travel. Alexis Cardinal, a friend of Father Lacombe's, would travel from Lac St. Anne to Fort Edmonton by dog sled in 24 hours. That's 160 kilometers in only one day. We may use the river differently than people in the past, but it's important to keep in mind that the river is still home to the many of the animals we previously mentioned. Next time you're out walking along the river, see if you can notice any of the animals and imagine how you would cross the river without the bridge. Check back on our website, museeheritage.ca, for more information and for activity sheets to print out at home and information on the Founder Walk panels. I encourage everyone this spring break to get outside and take a walk along the river.